Hi guys, it's Boonie and Ollie, and I just came back from recording a couple videos with my buddy Shane. She's a fellow geek, and she's currently in a doctoral program for forensic psychology. And um, we talked about how it'd be pretty cool to get together and talk about our mutual interests in um, creative expression, geek culture, and kind of throwing it into the lens of psychology. So she, I think her MBTI preference is INFP and mine is ENFP. So we're very similar yet different in our worldviews and processing of information. And I realized that after talking for five hours about psychology and all of the goodness that we you know, like about ourselves and the culture of um, being in psychology, it was a little bit draining towards the end and I wanted to make a video about checking in as an ENFP or extrovert with overstimulation. I noticed that um, when I'm starting to get overstimulated in a large group or even with having a long conversation even that I'm excited about participating in, my head starts to feel a little tight right here and um, I feel a little tired too and so I think it's important for ENFPs especially to check in because we're known as having um, that ambivert tendency, even though some people don't believe in that. I think it's a spectrum. I do believe that no one is a true extrovert or a true introvert. And so for us, as having that way of processing information and wanting to dive into a project or organization right away, we ENFPs got to check in. We got to step back sometimes and see if we're still ready to participate or if we need to take a break. And for me, while I was driving home, um, the 15 minute drive really helped me with checking in with myself and, and knowing that, okay, I, I felt that I was getting overstimulated and I needed to take a break. And so even taking my deep breaths or singing a song or two in the car really helped. And I'm hoping that other ENFPs have some tips on how they can do that self-care and making sure that they don't overstimulate themselves, even though the default and the, um, the desire to be an integral part of a group or a team is there. Like that's our drive. We really want to be part of the system and us knowing how to encourage others and seeing the, um, how to promote something in a novel way is our, um, it's our default wanting to do. Like it's just our bread and butter uh, with brainstorm behaviors. Um, I think it's really important to check in. So it's okay to step back. It's okay to take a break because the project will still be there. You know, the people you're conversing with will still be there. It's just making sure that you do that self care. It's super important. So going back to the question I already asked and fellow ENFPs or other extroverts too, how do you do self-care when it comes to overstimulation in um, large group environments or long draining conversations that even though you get fueled and energized in the beginning, you start to feel drained? How do you make sure that you do that self-care? I would like to know. Comments on the bottom or make your own video response. Thanks guys. Bye.